Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let heaven and nature sing. Those are the first and last lines of perhaps the most famous Christmas song in history. But why is there joy to the world? Who is this Lord who has come? Why does heaven and nature sing to Him? Why do we celebrate Christmas with so much joy and gladness in our hearts? You see, Scripture proclaims that we are all sinners. In Psalm 14, 2 and 3, it says, The Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. But what did God see? All have turned away, all have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. The Apostle Paul reminded the Roman believers that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All the peoples of the earth have fallen short. The men and the women, children and adults, rich and the poor. No one is exempted. All the peoples of the earth need a Savior. This good news of the coming of the Savior of the world was finally fulfilled that one silent night. In Luke 2 verse 8, it records that there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Notice two things in these verses. One, the angel of the Lord did not announce the good news of the coming of the Lord, the Messiah, in courts or palaces and kingdoms, but to simple, unassuming shepherds. This good news is for everyone, from the greatest to the lowliest of men, from the richest to the poorest of people. God gave earth her Savior in our Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, the shepherds were initially terrified. Like all of the angel appearances in the past, these shepherds were terrified, and indeed they ought to be, as the glory of the Lord shone on them. This meant their sinfulness were fully exposed in the glorious presence of God's holiness. They must have thought, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. Why? Because the angel announced the good news that will bring great joy for all people. That day, the prophecy about the Messiah, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, have finally come to pass. And as the angel had said, the shepherds found the baby Jesus, wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. This is a picture of utmost humility from a heavenly king. Glory, hallelujah. And that glorious scene ended with an even greater glory for the creator of the heavens and the earth. It says, Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. As Christians, we burst out into inexpressible joy because we have received God's favor, chosen to be part of His heavenly family. Indeed, we give God the highest glory because we have been purchased by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, saved from heaven's judgment and wrath, and now enjoy peace with God. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah.